Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from radical expressions. So let's get started. I will consider expression equal to x first. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So cube root and cube will be over. We can write x cube equal to square root 192. I can factor square root 48 times square root 4 plus square root 156. We can write square root 39 times square root 4. Square root 36 can be written as square root 9 times square root 4. Denominator will be square root 16 minus square root 13 plus square root 3 minus 3. Now we have root 4 common in the numerator and root 4 is 2. So I will write 2 times root 48 plus root 39 plus root 9. In denominator, we will write root 16 minus root 13 plus root 3 minus 3. Now we can write two times root 48. I can write root 16 times root 3 is root 48 plus root 39 root 13 times root 3 root 9 root 3 times root 3 over root 16 minus root 13 plus root 3. And then we have minus 3. Again, we have root 3 common from the numerator. So I can write x cube equal to 2 square root 3. In the bracket, root 16 plus root 13 plus root 3. In the denominator bracket, root 16 minus root 13 plus root 3 and then we have minus 3. This is x cube so far. Let me write once x cube equal to 2 square root 3 root 16 plus root 13 plus root 3 over root 16 minus root 13 plus root 3 and then minus 3. Now I will consider this expression equal to y. So x cube equal to 2 square root 3 times y minus 3. Let's simplify y separately. y is root 16 plus root 3 plus root 13 over root 16 plus root 3 minus root 13. Now I will use rationalization of denominator. So I will multiply root 16 plus root 3 plus root 13 in the numerator and in the denominator root 3 plus root 13. Now numerator is one perfect square of root 16 plus root 3 plus root 13 whole square. And denominator is having one specific form. If this is a, this is b, then a minus b bracket, a plus b bracket. So we can use difference of two squares formula here root 16 plus root 3 whole square. So I can write whole square minus root 13 whole square. This is our y. Now a plus b plus c whole square formula will be applicable in the numerator. a plus b whole square formula will be applicable in the denominator. Let's apply. 
But before that, if you are an Olympiad aspirant or planning to do preparation for SOF, Crest, Unicus, Silver Zone, Asset, ITO, Hummingbird for grade 2 to grade 10, then Olympiad Success offers you a live interactive classes, PYQs, tests. Please check out the description box for further details. And if you will use referral code GYAN15, you will get discount up to 15%. Let's come back to our problem. Now I will write our expression y. Let's use these formulas. So I will write y equal to root 16 square is 16, root 13 square is 13, root 3 square is 3 plus 2 times root 16 times root 13, root 208, root 13 times root 3, root 39, and root 3 times root 16, root 48. Over. I will write 16 plus 3 plus 2 times square root 48 minus 13. So we will get 16 plus 13, 29 plus 3, 32 plus 2 times. I will write a square root 48 plus a square root 39 plus a square root 208 over. 19 minus 13 is 6 plus 2 is square root 48. Now numerator and denominator is divisible by 2. Let's divide by 2. So 16 plus root 48 plus root 39 plus root 208. And denominator after dividing by 2 we will get 3 plus root 48. Now I can write this expression here first. Now we can write 16 plus root 48 we can consider 4 root 3. Root 39 we can write root 13 times root 3. And root 208 root 13 times root 16. Over. We can write 3 plus root 48 is again 4 root 3. Now I will take 4 common from first two terms in the numerator and root 13 common from last two terms. So I will write 4 is common in the bracket 4 plus root 3 plus root 13 is common in the bracket. We will write root 3 plus root 16 which is 4 over. Let's take root 3 common from denominator. So in the bracket we will get root 3 plus 4. Now you can see in the numerator and denominator we have 4 plus root 3. So let's take common from numerator and cancel with the denominator. So we will get y equal to 4 plus root 13 over root 3. Now I will write x cube. x cube was 2 square root 3 times y minus 3 and 4 plus root 13 over root 3 is our y. Now I will calculate x cube. Let's apply the value. So x cube will be 2 square root 3 times y is 4 root 13 over root 3 minus 3. Now we can cancel root 3 with root 3. So 2 times 4 plus root 13 minus 3. Or we can write 8 plus 2 square root 13 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5 plus 2 square root 13. Or I can write x cube equal to 2 square root 13 plus 5. Now we have to find cube root both sides to get the value of x. So I will write x equal to cube root of 2 root 13 plus 5. Now I will write x cube once again 2 root 13 
plus 5. Let's use Simon's favorite factoring trick. So here I will multiply both sides by 8. 8x cube equal to 8 times 2 square root 13 plus 5. LHS we can write this is 2x whole cube. And RHS we can write 16 root 13 plus 40. Now I can split RHS 16 as 13 plus 3. So 13 root 13 plus 3 root 13 plus 40 we can split 1 plus 39. So I will be writing RHS as 13 root 13 then plus 1 then plus 39 and then we will write 3 root 13. Now I will write 13 root 13 as root 13 whole cube. 1 as 1 whole cube. 39 we can write 3 times root 13 is square times 1. Plus 3 root 13 we can write 3 times root 13 times 1 is square. So this is replicating identity a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So here we can write root 13 plus 1 whole cube. And LHS is 2x whole cube. Once I will consider cube root both sides for real x, then we can write 2x will be equal to root 13 plus 1. And let's divide by two both sides to get our final answer root 13 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.